I'm Chanel Greco from Saparis, and in this video, I'll show you how you can share files and folders in Google Drive with target audiences. This video is split up into three separate parts. The first is where I'm going to show you how you yourself or your Google Workspace admin can set up target audiences. The second is how the users can start sharing files and folders with these tar target audiences. And the third is about best practices. What are the things you need to keep in mind when you decide to use target audiences? If you have a dedicated Google Workspace admin, so someone who creates the accounts for you, uh, administers them, and so on and so forth, then you will have, that, uh, have to ask that person to create the target audiences for you. You can't do that yourself. Um, if you want to let them know what I'm talking about, then just forward this video to them, then they'll know what it's all about. If on the other hand, you are the app main, maybe you are working at a startup or you're a freelancer or just a small business owner and you want to use target audiences, then you can follow along now with me. So I'm here locked in as our um, Google Workspace admin. I'm in the admin console and I'm going to head over to directory and here you already see the target audiences. So let's go ahead and fire that. And let's say, yes, we would like to create a target audience. So um, it, it's a new feature. It's nicely prominently here. Um, so let's give it a name. Let's give it a name of project XYZ team and give it a description. This is optional. You do not have to do so. And there you go. And let's hit create. Okay, good. So the target audience has been created and the next step now is to actually add members, um, either users or groups. In our case, I'm just gonna add um, to two of our users, two of our demo users. Uh, there you go. So let's add members. Uh, let's add Jane. And let's also add Adam. There you go. Now you might be adding many more people or groups or combination of people and groups and so on and so forth. Okay, I had to refresh the browser in order for it to now display these two vendors. So that worked out perfectly. Let me close this tab. Let's go back to the main tab. And here we can say apply to Google services. We click on it again, a new tab is going to open. And here we choose the Google service where we want our target audiences to be applied to. Now here on the service that we can use the target audience to, which is drive. We can scroll down and then you should see, there you go, target audiences. And I'm going to click on the icon here and we see that we're already using two target audiences and we can add now our new tar target audience projects X, Y, Z. Go ahead and save that, save it like so. And then we're actually good to go. Close that out. And here we can click on done. Okay, here we see our project XYZ with two members, the description we added. So this is uh, what the admin has to do on his or her end in order to activate the target audiences so that we can use them for sharing in Google Drive. Now on to how a user can share data with target audiences. We're here on Jane Examples My Drive. Let's say the project XYZ, this folder she wants to share with the target audience of project XYZ. So I'm gonna right click on it, click on share. Then the default sharing interface appears. Got it, thank you very much. Um, if we click down here in the second part of the interface, restricted that we're used to, that we know, if I now click on the arrow, you see the different target audiences that we just saw before in the admin interface. And here's our project XYZ, uh, the little description that we added as well when I hover over the selection and I can say project XYZ team, okay, done and I'm good to go. And if I wanna have another look at it, I right click, share. There you 
go, project team XYZ. I could also go ahead and, very good, change uh, the accessing rights. So this is pretty much the way we, we, we know how it works, like sharing with anyone, sharing a link with, and with or sharing the file with anyone as the link works the same. It's just that here, anyone in this group with this link can view. If I want to go ahead and undo this, I could just switch back to restricted and then only Jane example has access. So that's how uh, you will work uh, this target audiences. And here you see anyone with the link is still also an option, but now we also have our separate target audiences. So let me go ahead and save that. Okay, good. So now we saw how admins can set up target audiences, how users can actually then use these target audiences to share their data. Now, the third thing we wanna look at are some best practices, some things we should keep in mind when we're sharing files and data with target audiences. As we saw before, we can add individual people to a target audience, but Google advises us to instead add groups. Uh, the idea behind target audiences is exactly that, that it's a large audience. So it's when we want to share with a broad amount of people. And um, that's why they very much encourage us to add whole departments or very large groups as members of uh, any given target audience that we're creating. Then we can also, or we should also consider the different types of groups that we can add as members. So these can be groups added through the admin um, console, through APIs, um, also groups created by users themselves or groups created outside of our organization. Then we can have up to five target audiences that is um, as of March, April 2021, where target audiences has been broadly introduced to all of the Google Workspace um, accounts. And we can also set a primary audience. So that is if um, we want the users or we notice that the users have one target audience that they usually um, share their files and folders with, we can make that the default link sharing option um, instead of having them to maybe choose one of the target audiences a bit further below. Want to learn more about Google Drive? Then how about checking out my other video tutorials here on YouTube? And would you mind subscribing to this channel by hitting the subscribe button below? Because every week I publish new video tutorials about Google Drive and Google Apps, Google Workspace in general, and I would not want you missing out on any of those videos.